I'm gonna go for it first. In case he does want to kill it. Let him blow that mana. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. There we go. That 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 play is just too strong. We are now at nine mana. Alright guys, <clears throat> back with another one. So everyone has to it's like it's like Rune Terra basically gave everyone a homework assignment. <laughs> right? Gave everyone a homework assignment. The homework assignment was go and make your soul cleave deck. And I want it on my desk by five. Now I wanted to to go in with Diego, who a lot of people I just took the it's the same thing I did with the last deck, right? The two champions that they people were saying, though, this is, has to be the best thing for Anivia, Viego, so broken. I okay, just put them together. <laughs> I'm going greedy ramp though. I win three catalysts, three uh, uh spirit Slings, three wild mysticism. Uh, we have three of the boars. We have entreat. We have uh, one off of dark and halberd. After my play testing, it was kind of nuts to have more than one because yes, we will ramp into Tarush. And this is uh, also a check, basically to check ramping, right? So when ramping becomes better, that means that you can actually play more of these greedy cards. I have yet to draw Field of Rush once. Just I just want I've drawn Ruination, I've drawn Very Nice, I've drawn Rekindler. <laughs> I've not drawn Field of Rush once in all the games that I've played. But this is the most consistent deck that I've played so far. It does obviously gonna lose if I'm fighting against some aggro, depending on what they come up with. I do have some heals here, but. Another less than not, I will be killing my boar. They don't have, there's not too much obliterate in the game, so regardless if I, if I soul cleave the boar, or I just kill it, or whatever have you, guess what, boar is gonna die. Uh, they usually don't have anything to stop the, the spells. No one's, we're not running into Ionia like that. The Yi, the Yi buff is not that strong. <laughs> no one's playing Yi yet. So, we get that. We use it on Anivia, boom. And I will, uh, I know some people wanted to use it on the Cambodian soldier. I know that's not his actual name, but but I'm going for kind of like ramp. It's Viego will level uh, by accident basically. So at least for the first iteration of this deck, well, this is not my first iteration, but just for this uh, version, I am not using Cambodian soldiers. Not a Viego deck. Viego just kind of benefits off getting off the, getting on the field early. I actually would say in this iteration of the deck, Trendemir would probably be better. So much so that I'll put him as a one-off. I'll put Trendemir as a one-off because his crappy little not crappy. It's it's basically an OTK. But you'll see how fast it is when you just go straight into ramp instead of trying to do any of the other strategies. This is purely just a ramp deck. So let's go. I'll show you guys the fun that is killing a boar and then making it have kids and then... <laughs> oh, boy. And we have Rise. We have Rise. Also, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 2K subs. If we hit 2K subs, I will make, and I promise, I will make... That pesky Spectre deck that you guys are, are, are looking forward to. I'm going to keep saying it every video. I know we can reach it probably within a couple weeks. Because most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. They just kind of like stumble upon it. So 2K subs and we will do that pesky Spectre deck that people are looking forward to. Now, just to, just to talk about it, right? Now I have, I, I do, I've used Pesky Spectre as one of my Spectre. One of my favorite decks to use. Uh, this kind of sucks. This is the worst Cataclysm you'll ever have. It's a free draw. Now, keep in mind that with Tellstones, I can't kill off his... Uh... I'm just going to use it. There's not much interaction this guy's going to have. Uh, what he could do is double kill Anivia. That, that is an option that he has. So, okay, Entreat. We can use one of that and just sit and chill. Man will always fight and always die. Treadmere. Okay, another Nivea. This one is boosted by the Omen Hawk, so we were gonna draw into it very soon. Argument could be said to have just killed the Rise, but he's not gonna attack with it. It's just too much risk to do anything. He just wants to keep Rise on the field to do his lovely thing. We get another Catalyst of Aeon here. I feel like I should be accelerating even more. But the spirit of winter awakens. We can apply some pressure here because even if I do that seven, then we go up to eight. Still not enough to feel the rush. Um <clears throat> so I'm just chilling here. 
I do like that I said that I, I didn't draw Field of Rush, and it's literally the first card in my hand, right? That's kind of funny. Quietus on this, because he he sees the chakra. Though, if I were to use my Telstones, I could prevent that, but it's no purpose of that. We're going to attack into here. I'm assuming that he... Uh, well, he has his champion spell. I'm curious if he's looking to play another Rise or actually use it. So he's actually willing to use it. Okay. Okay, about to say no. Uh, usually you run a couple of units in there. That was a good one because it just stalls. We are at 10 mana. We could use this. Soul Cleave. We could do both actually. Going to 8 and to 9. But doing this. Uh, now we're at eight, right? Going into nine. And then I could play this if I don't use any more mana. I could use, uh, it doesn't matter if I use it. I might as well use it though. I don't know, cause Anivia is a thing. Thought about being mana positive, but there's really no purpose to it. Uh, he could, he has that. Okay. I'm assuming he's doing that for a blocker. Can't ruinate me at the moment. I could actually just play this if I wanted to. But I feel like there's no purpose here. There is no card in his deck that prevents this uh, that I know of, so. Feel the rush! Trendemir and Viego! Uh, he could kill off. Killing off either one of these is no bueno. Uh, we put me and die. these guys off to the left. Nivea off to the right. He could uh, still has a vengeance, but he could, what are you gonna kill Viego? What's beautiful is that Viego has uh, fearsome, so he'd have to actually block with this. Still looking to take a buttload of damage. Oh yeah, he has the prism. That is true. Still takes 11 damage here. Drum solo. Now, I could use it on Trendemir, right? If I use it on Trendemir, uh, what's it called? Uh, vehicle levels. Now, I don't. I could do something cheeky like that. I actually don't have to. The thing about what what's gonna happen here is that he's gonna get that. Alright, so the question is, does he have enough? He can only play two more runes, which is fair. Um, I think if we... I think we have to crumble. Is there any way to... Oh, I'm so sorry about this, but rise. My guy. Brace yourself. Enough. This cannot stand. No one cares, buddy. Does this still count for him? I'm doing this just to actually prevent it. If he wants to replay rise, he can, but he can't actually get the wing con off. Ah, so it does not count for with him. Cool to know. Now you understand. I will stand this madness no, no cuz he still has to play the mana to get the thing. Does he still have it? No, he doesn't. Okay. Zero mana telestones. Now he can actually kill off oh, what? Viego's literally doing nothing. Viego's innocent. Now you will 
understand. I will stand this madness no longer. I highly doubt there's anything he could do. The best I think he could do would be like a ruination. He doesn't have the the stun spell. Do not stand in my way. So I could soul cleave Anivia. He could vengeance this, right? Did he actually do it? Is this another Nivea? It is. The chill before the storm. Enough! This cannot stand! This kills off Rise, so that's the second Rise dead. So that was smart, because if I actually soul cleaved, he would have just uh, entombed the uh, whatever card that I was going to put out. We have Ruin Nation. Um, I'm actually going to be mana positive. Get another Anivia most likely, because we already shuffled two back in the deck. Uh, this way, <clears throat> I could do the same thing. If I need to, I could... Actually, no, I don't think I can Ruinate. I can't Harsh Winds into Ruin Nation. I think that's too much mana. I will be reborn. Submission or death for all who need. I could lose here, actually. Did he draw the other rise? Quietus. You will serve. There it is. Does he draw? Does he draw a rise? This is it. This is it. I'm scared. Literally nothing I could do. The floor is yours, buddy. Still a good showcase of my deck. I think I had to possibly be a little bit more greedy. Does he have the uh, Entreat? This is Mono Rise. He's looking for it. That's his last shot. Oh boy. Is he coming? Is he coming down the mountain until she comes? Uh, okay. We are sorry for your loss. Oh boy, this is disgusting. I'm sorry I have to do this to you. You're too dangerous. Anivia was... Wait, Anivia? Oh no, he's... Anivia's just not the strongest. Ah! Uh... Soul Cleave is still kind of weird to use though. Without her, there is only darkness. He's talking about Anivia. All right, we got Mono Orn up in the Noxuses. We have one, maybe Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds uh, kind of seems like it would make the most sense here. I'll, I'll, I'll bounce back to Spirits and Leafs. We have Ramp. We have Ruination, which is good. We just need a target for our Soul Cleave. Oh, we have Healing. We have all spells, cause we're scumbags. Um, what is that? Two damage. I'd rather bank mana. This could actually be used on something good. Where's the competition? 
All right. So this is three. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll use the the one that gives us the the thing first. Give us a unit to block and stuff. In case we need it. Now I don't know. I wonder what. What is he looking to? Okay, so this is the forge of this is used up. So three three. That is cute. We'll take some damage here and then we'll heal it off. Trend of Dendemir in the building. Hey! Come on, man. Have a heart. What is this? Six? I could play Trendomir next turn. <laughs> now, I think he, he he keeps the ephemeral, if I'm not mistaken, though. But I'm actually not going to play him because... I'd rather use the the soul cleave on him, so we're gonna we're gonna chill out. We get a Nivea. Uh oh, those are the pullers. So he's this is a, is this a reputation deck? Orn reputation? Orange reputation? You're mine. Doesn't push much damage though. Face me. I guess. Remember me. He doesn't I think reputation is not triggered just yet. My blade grows restless. Kindle picked me. That's why I smith. Let this thing die. Here, let me see that. Okay. <laughs> see, it it keeps it. <clears throat> and that's what I don't like about that combo. Alright, so we go Anivia here. Here. That's what I'm talking about. Can I bait with anything else? No, I can't. It's smarter to do this because then you get three, uh, three things. Now he could have that orange spell. There it is. You have to. You have to entomb. There we go. You must entomb. And that's what the, the play I was saying before. I still get two Anivias out of it, and look, this is our Omen Hawk one. Attack! We have harsh winds for the next turn. Obviously, like I said, that's smart. He's gonna take it. The rake is getting stronger. We can also just ruinate, especially if he plays another card here. Uh, especially if he plays Orn. I feel like you biting me. Anivia! The Freljord's eternal guardian! We still have the option Let's to... To, to Harsh Winds. I thought I thought Orn was coming down. Orn's coming down, we ruinate, like, without question. About to reel it in. I protect this place. Am I, like, worried about, like, a Decimate or something here? I don't get it. Okay. Pass, he has too much mana up. Whispered words. Pass the rake. Not much he can do here. He could kill Olivia, absolutely, but it means nothing. His body is no longer his own. Rekindler brings back Trendemir. Uh, see, these are the plays that I'm always confused about. I'm not exactly sure. 
I think we go Viego. I have Harsh Winds as backup for anything. I always get, these are honestly like the plays that I get confused on, like whether or not to just open attack or develop. Uh, because it could be, like he could uh, bury it and ice me. Uh, that's a play that he has, that's an option for him. Um, like I said, we still have Harsh Winds. Okay. The Gonna have to go with that. Negates this entirely. And any, it, it, even if he has another one, it, it takes that away as well. Also, it means that they can't block Viego. So, and that's a fast speed spell, so now priority goes back to me. Snow, wind, and ice. So, unless he has some type of boost, which, hey, Freljord. So, Freljord's on the map, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, how crazy Freljord comes on the map. So, he freezes Viego. Uh, this, okay. Definitely at a huge advantage here. We have Rekindler come down next turn. We win in most, and this is what I, I like about this deck. As you can see, like my hand is trash. Like I, I find that I should maybe have a draw in this deck, but I don't have units to like sacrifice for the draw. Like, except this guy. He's like, what about me? <laughs> I could be sacrificed. Yes, you can. Um, I guess. You are, I don't, I don't see the obsession with Diego. Rekindler still brings back Trendemir. There he is. No further pleasantries needed. Now this would be cool, but I'm an asshole. So that's it for you, boy. <laughs> I dropped the mic on him. Get toilet boy flush, boy. And that's, oh, she wrote. Ah, as you, if you saw, I had a deep deck. Soul Cleaving Deep actually is pretty good in my opinion. Um, I mean, if they're gonna go deep, I think keeping my champions is kind of smart. We have two ramps, uh, depending on how crazy. Soul Cleave, and I said in my Soul Cleave video, by the way, if you guys didn't see that, that uh, there are some pretty good uh, soul cleave targets in deep. Uh, basically, the cards that toss. Uh, I've used it, but the problem is that, of course, of course, of course, when I when I when I do a deep deck, I I queue into the ladder and I queue against freaking shrooms. <laughs> That's what happens to me. It's insane, but uh, it's I think it's still a pretty good deck. Uh, I think I have to refine it though. I'm curious to see what's. Oh, Lord, have mercy on this man's soul. We can literally Anivia into uh, Soul Cleave and just just wipe away. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. We go wild mysticism here. <coughs> and if you saw my deck, it's not like um, I'm I'm happily running into to ramp. Most of my cards in my deck are ramp. They are mostly ramp cards. So it makes sense that I draw into my ramp. And this is what I'm saying, like, ramp is actually an archetype that I love from, guess what? Guess Can you guess the game? Magic the Gathering. <laughs> oh! Are you Bori? Oh no, this could get even worse. I can actually soul cleave it right now. I'm gonna attack first though. Now he could be running, there's some disruption. I mean, he could be running some pings, but again. These aisles will be cleansed. I'm gonna go for it first. In case he does want to kill it. Let him blow that mana. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. There we go. That 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 play is just too strong. We are now at nine mana.
And this is where I think like Viego doesn't make any sense. Oh, those are two cards he needs. So bad. See, I don't know. <clears throat> Do I get Viego started? Because then I could just start stealing the stuff. He could pull this, but why would you want to, really? <clears throat> Viego starts to get uncomfortably big, unless he does have Vengeance in his hand. <clears throat> but the problem is that he, he's going to have to Vengeance, uh, like, Nivea's egg. Like it's just it's it's cool to see ramp this good, it really is. As a as a ramp player myself, <laughs> I love ramp. A new ramp. If if Howling Abyss, okay, here he goes. You guys ready for me to say? It? If Howling Abyss was a ten mana card or a, a higher than six mana card, you had to ramp into it. I actually wouldn't mind it as much. I bring the storm. Full honesty, I would not mind it as much. Now he's obviously gonna get a lot of mileage out of this. I forgot about Jettison. <laughs> My deep deck doesn't even run Jettison because you don't really need it <clears throat> with uh, Soul Cleave and other things. This is the card you Soul Cleave. You can Soul Cleave this or Dread Dredges, one of the two, and it's absolutely insane. Um, now the issue with him is that eventually I have to kill Monokai, but he's so far away from deep. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. I should've just used this to be mana positive, and I don't really need it anymore, and he gets him back to full health. I doubt he plays another card. I could also use this to, uh, I could have used it to create, actually, I didn't even think about that, to create another Nivea. So, oh, he knows, he knows. So yes, this is how you accelerate deep. So this is now six uh, thing, plus the soul, uh, Sea Scarab. If you guys want to see me play this deck, no light goals, uh, light goals for the Pesty Spectre, but I could play this one next. <clears throat> I actually think it's pretty good. I think he's in a screwed position, but I, th I do think it's pretty good. Look at the value, especially when Maokai's on the board. He actually hits deep here. Look at that. Uh. Okay. Like, down to 10 cards. These things all die, so that's three more, right? And that, yeah, actually, all, once these all three die, he gets his, uh, he gets his thing. Insane. He can end his turn and, and uh, the thing just pops off immediately. I want to passion this to back to him, though. Uh, he could play Nautilus here. I don't need to use, like, Ruination. I, I kind of would feel like using it. But I feel like I kind of need to go for my win con. Not much I can do about that. I could have chump blocked though. Okay. Oh, so that one actually comes back, funny enough. I didn't play that correctly though. Okay, he did have Nautilus. The water rises. So the big play, obviously, is to let him um, develop and then ruinate. But then I need to do this attack. I wasn't thinking about that. Okay, so I threw. I 
I threw, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a surprise. Those tosses actually mean a little bit more because they, like, he actually loses them forever. Attack my eggs! I should have just killed off Maokai. But, to, I, I play this deck and I'll tell you real quick, like, if I kill off Maokai, since he's tossing, he will get Maokai very quickly. Just as a heads up. There we go. I'm happy to see that card go away. And he also lost one of his Mirai cards. It's all over, ladies and gents. But I think that was still a good showcase of the deck. We've gotten our... We, we got everything that I wanted, right? Everything that I wanted to showcase, I was able to do. It's unfortunate that I made that misplay and kind of let him pop off a of Maokai without drawing another champion and all that good... Oh my god, they're 8-8s. Eight and another cool thing is that when you're using uh, this deck, Nautilus, yes, yeah, it says Nautilus created this card. Nautilus brings back all Fall Cross, so Mariah Great Mother, and there are other cards that I, I, I always was trying to think of ways to make Nautilus really, really good, because you'll bring back all your Fall Cross, and there are a couple cool Fall Cross cards that I think would be phenomenal to bring back, that, that he'll bring back, and I, I, I was trying to cook up something. Oh! Oblivious Islander for the win. Oh, I love it. Mariah Great Mother duplicating the Mariah Great Mother. But that's going to be it for me. I think that those were some awesome games. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching Anivia do what she's got to do. You're not going to kill me. No, 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 no. We are dying by the deck out, my good sir. We are not dying by damage. I refuse. But hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. You're out of cards! <laughs>